All right, we're getting ready for the big night out. Tonight is the annual E-Town Get Down Fantasy Football League meeting. This is our 10th anniversary. This is the big money league that I play with at home with my friends from high school for the most part. We have uh, an annual meeting every summer, once a summer, to discuss rule changes, to discuss loser punishments, to discuss buy-in prices, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we had this video last year as well, and you guys actually really liked it, so I figured I would just keep putting them out to show you kind of behind the scenes. So that was the Constitution to make this league official. Maybe I will set up a page where you can go to, put in your email and stuff, and I will send you a copy of it if you want to get a download of what our Constitution looks like, and you can work yours around that if you want one for your league. Maybe I'll do that. Tonight not only serves as the meeting, it's Friday night. It's like 8.30. It is also a pregame for the punishment. So our loser last year, the punishment is that he has to he has to become the bathroom attendant tonight at the bar we're going out to. So I called this place that we sometimes go out to. So we used to go there and get real rowdy. It's pretty ratchet out there. But we called the owner and I was like, yo, can we have the loser of our fantasy league be the bathroom attendant for the night at your bar? And he was like, yeah, of course, that sounds hilarious. So we're going there. The loser last year, Joe, who also lost three years ago, is going to be in the bathroom for the entire night pretending to be the attendant. And that's our loser punishment. So we're going to have our meeting. We're going to pregame during the meeting, hang out, go out to the bar, and I'll bring y'all along. Y'all remember this room? Oh, that's pretty. Nick, it's my kind of baseball. Are you? Yeah. Joey, baby, you ready? Yeah. Oh, I got all my kids ready. So, how you on? You got? Look at all the beasts together in one room. This is Mr. Loser. That's correct. Me. We'll be in the bathroom. All right. Here's what we got. Jolly Ranchers. Spearmint. Who knows? Mints. Winslow mints. More mints. You should just spray people as they walk in and out. <laughs> right? Now give me a dollar. Yeah. 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 Love you. I got kicked off the flight. It didn't kick me off. <laughs> <laughs> you got kicked off. <laughs> Look at this fraud. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet shot. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, let's gather around. Let's talk some fucking business. So, back by popular demand, an official constitution created. Ooh, we had that. signatures back in the day. That's we how we, that's how we kicked Josh out. And I think the year you can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first thing we'll talk about is voting rules. Basically, everyone obviously has a chance to bring a proposal up to the table about a rule change. Bring a hard proposal to the table if you want to vote on it. In order for the rules to change, it's got to be a majority vote, six to four. Six to four. If it's five to five, we'll say. Get a vote. What if Magnus like not near? Let's do his fucking head up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have to decide on the buy-in price. I think it was 300 last year. Let's go on. 350. 350. 350. 350. 350. Unanimous. I think 350. All right, 350 it is. Okay, so let's talk about roster settings, scoring settings, and things like that. Okay, so starting rosters right now, we obviously have one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, tight end, two flexes, kicker, defense. Seven bench spots, one IR spot that opens after the conclusion of the first four weeks. I bring this up every year. I bring two of these things up kill every it. year. Kill the kicker. Kill, kill the kicker. Kill it. Motion to vote. I want to kill the fucking kicker. I don't know kill why the, the fuck kicker. you guys still want the kill kicker in the, the fucking, fucking league. All in the favor kicker. of killing the kicker. Say aye. I'm one, two, three, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Kicker is no more. No, I, I, I want to propose super flex. <laughs> So there's a spot. There's a so super flex is this one of your flex one of your flex spots is it can be a quarterback. So it's quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end. So basically you're looking to start two flex. Because you wouldn't you wouldn't start another flex. You still have all the other positions. Dude, I'm telling you. Six for quarterback touchdowns. Dude, it makes the draft so much more fun. For a ten team league, it actually makes quarterbacks give us some value. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the point of fantasy league should be to kind of even out the values. And right now, like quarterbacks have no value and tight ends basically have value. So for voting purposes, two, super, two, two quarterback league, but it is a super flex spot, which means you can start a quarterback, running back, wide receiver, or tight end in that. Possible. So quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, two of the regular flex spots we have, and then one super flex. New proposal, super flex. Squat. That's the proposal. I I vote yes on the super flex. We'll do a conjoined vote here. Let's do a conjoined vote. We'll go four points for passing touchdown, 
Super flex. Back to 25 yards. I'm in for that. Back to 25, too? I'm in, yes. I'm in with that. Yes. Fuck. I'm yes. in with that. I'm in with that. No. 2-2. Two, two. Yes. 3-2. 4-2. Two, yes. 5-2. Two. 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 Yes. Two. What did it say? What do you want? Super flex. Come on, baby. We it's fucking need this. Yeah. We got five. Well, it's a super flex. We need one more from Wait, majority vote. It's a super flex. It all comes down to this piece of shit. Quarterback, uh, running back, wide receiver, tight end. But if you start any, it's in. It's we got in. super flex. Oh, Let's fucking go. Uh, he proposes at a bench spot. Fuck that. No, fuck, fuck that. No. Fuck that. Yeah. Because you're wrong. 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 For two. Uh, the <laughs> other proposal hey, I was gonna make regarding tight ends. I don't know if you guys ever played in a league where like people sometimes do half PPR, so tight ends are full PPR to make them a little more valuable. I don't particularly like it, but I'll throw it out there if anyone wants to discuss it. There's three tight ends, we'll just piss on everybody else. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so tight ends stay the same? Stay the same. Yeah. Two tight ends now. Alright, the other piece of shit rule we're gonna talk about is half point for first down. Love oh, yeah. it. Screw that. Loved it. Really? Okay. I propose to abolish that rule. Second. Keep. Second down. Yeah, get rid of it. I don't care. Keep. I think it's relevant. Two, two. Three, two. He says three, three. Out. Yeah. In. Out. Four. Out. Wait. I lost count there. Is everyone keep yelling yes or out or in? Nah, keep, 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 if you want to, if you want to keep it, raise your hand. Mags is out. So that's six. You said Mags is out. He's, he wants to get rid of it. Okay, so that's six for getting out, for getting rid of this so right now. So, yeah. uh, so no, no more half point half for first point. half. Okay. I liked it. Listen, that's <laughs> stupid. You know that hurts. It doesn't mean anything. It's like baseball wild card. It's just a baseball. And still not make the the playoffs. Speak on it. Speak the big facts, Georgie. It's the race for the end. Exciting. No, what? Why does your team That's not true. suck every week? <laughs> <laughs> you lost some close games. I lost. That's the fuck away it goes. 100 close points. And someone's brought up 200. That's the way she goes, man. The way I, she goes. But you know. We have it right now where it's the top three teams obviously make the, the playoffs, and then the fourth team that gets in is the highest scoring team in the regular season between teams four and ten. I'll put it out on proposal and we'll see how it works out in terms of voting. Do we want to abolish that and just have the top four seeds get into the playoffs? And I'm, we'll start with George because we know where he stands. He, was, he wants to get rid of that. H. Hello back. The I fuck you want to go to the regular, the regular. The top four seeds. Stupid. Uh, Wins, man. I agree. I want to go back to the top four. Standard top four. No, I want the points. All right, so we got one, so that's one versus four. Points. points. Two versus four. Is. Three versus four. Is wants the top four. Top four. Right. So we have five. Points. Uh, we need Max. 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 He, 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 he lost the playoffs. Yeah, he's not going to do it. We lost the okay. playoffs. Okay. Spoken like true loser. Win games. Can't, can't lose play. games in fantasy football and still win. <laughs> <have it. laughs> <laughs> then he votes top four records in the playoffs. Okay. So there you go. Top four so it is. Thank God. All right. Keeper rules. We have it set right now. Eighth round or later. That was in and out. Oh, he's having a look. Oh, he's having a <laughs> he kept their fucking face on. <laughs> one keeper allowed, it's gotta be eighth round or later for one season only. Why? No freak, because that's our rules. I propose that you can you no. keep a player until he supersedes the eighth round. So if you have if you keep an eighth rounder this year, then you can't keep him next year because he's now a seventh rounder. But if you were to keep a tenth rounder, then you can sense. keep him a ninth rounder. So he keeps moving up. He keeps moving up until he's out I, of I understand the, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I think you just explained it weird. The thing about that is like we've changed the round for the keeper three consecutive years, so I feel like that's probably gonna change in the next one. I was thinking well. like what he was saying, but just like say he's out of it up. As well, so if we got so a constitution, we gotta lock into a multi-year year, year it goes up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say no on that. I like the, the rule we have for one one year because it puts the players back into the draft. Yeah, I like the shape. Yeah, oh yeah, I like that. So anyone on the same boat of getting rid of keepers? Getting rid of that. Getting rid of them. Hold on, hold on. Why don't we vote? Let's vote on, Let's vote on this one first. Hold on. Let's vote on this one first. I'm going to say no. He said yes. <laughs> Joe, I'm no. The kiss of death. No. Max, no. what you no, said. No, no, no. Okay, so that's fine. We're good there. He wants to say no. Okay, here. Before I say, the reason why is because the best part about Facebook, in my opinion, is the draft. One and it doesn't one matter. Pick. Doesn't matter. One one pick for every last one player from every player. Every every player. Every player. Every player. Every player. Every player. What I do like though, what I think though, like the super flex, is it makes the, the rosters way more open, so the keeper won't really be. Because if you're keeping like a top wide receiver or something, quarterbacks are so valuable that it makes that keeper a little bit less valuable. Just in a ten team league, I think it'd be so much better to have wide open. I agree with you if we were like keeping like everybody. Yeah, if you keep like if you like Aaron Rodgers every well, year, I would make sense. One but, guy. All right, but it's it's, it's, it's recent proposal. No, no, no keepers. 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 Uh, I'm gonna vote no on that. Yes. No. Yes. Keeping keepers. What does he have to say? Is you want to keep keepers? He doesn't want keepers. Oh, fuck. I say keep them. We're at four four right now. I'm keeping them. Keeping them. Raise your hand. Keep. 
Now, also, these keeper rules go into effect the following year, by the way. What about, I want to appeal Julio I'll take, I'll take it up to the committee. I'll take it up to the committee. We'll get back to you. Can we three three five 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 four days <laughs> up, up the chain of command to Roger Goodell? I want to go through me to get to him. I know. He's our chain of command. All right, so he said 10th round. 10th round. Joe, you said no. Or no. you said? Yes. No. Uh, get his vote. Is. Do uh, you want to move the keepers to the 10th round? <laughs> I'm pretty much there. Keep him in the 8th. Where is he? It looks like he's in World War. Hold on, Jay, before you vote. I'm going down to the bar. Oh, oh, Christ. Oh, good. Are you in an elevator, yeah, you idiot? Get, get his fucking answer and then he's done. What, what's, yeah, your, yeah. what's your answer? Oh, no shit. Why do you keep that? You don't sell from elevators. I'm going to say... 8th or 10th? 10th round. 10th round. Okay. Okay, so we had... Hold on. Three. You said no? No, 8th. Three. Three. You said... 10th. He, he said... Yes. 10th. You said 10th. No, I said no. You said 8th. What the fuck do you think? He was saying say yes. 2-2 right now. 2-2. Shane proposed it. That's great, right? Yeah, now we're at 4 with Jack. Puzzle 3-3. Or 4. Jason's a yes. Guys, keep your hands up if you want to move to the 10th. Yes. Yeah. Jason's a yes. No. Move 10th round. And and it's it's 10th round? 10th. 10th. Raise your hand. I go 10th as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're going 10th. Woo! Matt, what what a, I Matt, won a vote. You know. <laughs> First one of the night. <laughs> it has to be someone that was drafted, right? It has to yeah. be someone that was drafted, no free agent pickups. Yeah, Aguilar. Hey, you know what? That was, that was the not coming last. Yeah. You gave me Aguilar. It was the second round pick and Aguilar for Ed Mike Evans. So, uh... On the topic of trades, what do you think about uh, committee approval of the league members versus commissioner approval? For I feel stuff. like I handle that pretty Dude, well, but you're ready to I don't go. want to chop your nuts off over here. Uh, yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, like, if you think, if you think, if you think I just think league proposal, like, even like the slightest bit of like biasy, people yeah. will be like denied. I'm like, dude, I would never deny a trade unless it's clear collusion yeah. or it's like completely fucking. Lost. I think that's better to leave. Yeah. 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 yeah, I don't want that. Because people yeah. see yeah. someone doing good, getting a trade they might not like. Oh, yeah, okay, everyone just clicks a no for no fucking reason. Yeah, oh, I. I'll tell you right now, 100 percent. No. That's why we have the lead committee take. What if you're, what if you're so y'all are responsible for getting reporting to me your fucking keeper. I'm not coming out to you anymore to tell you you have till August 27th, 11:59 p.m. Draft day, obviously always Labor Day, Monday. So we have to talk about where we want to do it. It's obviously either here again or it is Adori's house. I want to do it here again. Too. I mean, is Adori's war room? Yeah. If you're dying, I thought here was fucking perfect. All right, cool. that's fine. Eric's house, it is. Uh, time is that we never have a set time. Would you if you want to move? Back. I'm just gonna be at Lake George this weekend, so I'm gonna probably be back to like two. Shane, hey, Grandpa's gonna go to sleep, man. Yeah. Okay, no one has a problem with time except for his fucking ass. is always like, we gotta do it at 4 p.m. Because what time do you have to get up for? Right? This is in the fucking rule book now. I'll work from home. Shirt and tie are Perfect. mandatory. Perfect. Suit jacket is optional, yes. but highly recommended. I take, I take Failure to arrive appropriate appropriate attire will result in the loss of your 14th round pick. Well, if you're keeping your 14th round pick. If you, if you are keeping your 14th round pick, then it will be the 13th round pick, and so on and so forth. All right, so draft order this year. So here's how we're gonna do this. I took this spot myself, because every, myself. Myself. every time we try to do it, George brings up, everyone puts in like $200, and everyone's like, no, I don't wanna do that. There is, what's the golf tournament being played in Paramus next weekend? Oh, oh man. Place. Uh, yeah. Formerly known as the Barclays. It's like the North, oh, Northern, 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 Northern Trust. Based on reverse Northern order Northern standings Northern. from last year, and I have it written down here. It was Joe, Eric, me, George, Deech, Steve Mags, and Max is Jason Chin. Starting with Joe, each person is going to choose one golfer, starting from reverse standings. It's my responsibility to get the Vegas odds on favorites to put into the group me as soon as they are online. As soon as it is, I will make sure to get it. Based on the finishes, whoever has the highest or the best, you know, performing player that weekend or whatever, will get their their pick Perfect. of what draft they want. You guys want. each pick a player, then I get the field. <laughs> people miss the uh, cut. Someone's gonna miss make the cut. Someone's gonna miss the cut. People are gonna tie, I'm sure. Some of our players are gonna tie. We're gonna go on the lowest round. The lowest round. The lowest single round. So your lowest round is a tiebreaker. So somebody the lowest should, round is a tiebreaker. So we close that. Ooh, I like that. Open a fucking sixty-two yes. and they tie. Like eight right. over. So if you miss the cut, you obviously only have two rounds to I fucking like perform at that. But that's only a tiebreaker. So whoever is the best player is that available. You miss the cut. Here. I mean, Everyone kind of understand that. Uh, we gotta talk about payouts. So we're gonna have a thirty-five hundred dollar pot. Can I my rule? Max <laughs> thirty-five hundred dollars to the winner. Yeah. yeah so uh, <laughs> I want the uh, rule. This much more proposed would be uh, winner take all. Uh, <laughs> In. You know, for uh, Super Bowl, there's only one team that gets the Lombardi. That's your proposal. We got one, one for yes. One person to get all the money. Yes. <laughs> Stupid. No. no. 
fuck out of here. No one wants to live life on the edge, huh? Nah, no, I'm good. You guys are all cool with losing, getting yes. a little bit of money? Yes. No way. Yes. Oh, fuck out of here. We already got five. God damn it. Wait, that on. would be a fun thing to do for the Super Bowl. So how would you, how would you do that? Though? You do Prop City. Prop you print City. out a, a piece of paper with like 27 prop bets on so you the Super Bowl. The prop bets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, there's, they're all over the internet. Steve Bagnani used to run the pool all the time. He probably can he, he'll I, mix I like it up. That. I like that. So yeah. you take it, everybody gets a sheet, everybody fills it out, everybody gives it into Oh, whoever Nick. wins the most prop bets. Whoever has the most points, okay. each prop bet's worth But you're still not you're still not gonna know your draft order, because if I win that, I'm not picking that shit until like a week. Yeah, you, and then yeah. and then like at the meeting or whatever the next year, every yeah. that's when we'll pick the draft order. Down I like that, I like that's, that. You guys just blew it. You guys got rid of the kickers. He just missed a 20. I'm so yard. fucking happy we got that rid of the kickers. I'm so, 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 so fucking happy. We're trying to do that. We're getting one dude. pivotal. We got rid of fucking what? kickers. <laughs> Nobody. I was the one that came around. You were, dude. We every year it's always like four to six or some shit, and I get so disappointed. One for the Prop City, but like, like do you know where to like how to make that happen? Yeah. Steve McNanny ran the pool for fucking ten years. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Then, so, deadline is the keeper. Yeah, when yeah. you have to have your keepers in, which is a week before, is when you have to pick your draft order. Oh yeah, that's so all right. Make it the same. Cool. First good thing you've ever brought. Love so that. So we got the, uh, yeah, yeah. the the ring and the bell and all this stuff. I want something so you know for when I win. To like have on my desk. It's like a little uh, mini Lombardi trophy. trophy. You want a trophy? Yeah, the mini Lombardi trophies. Fantasy Jobs has one too, but it's more money than the one I found. Personal engraving, it's like E Town Get Down, 2018 champion, I'll make Nick Herculano. I'll make it happen. And that way, every This video is sponsored by FantasyJocks.com. Look at this beautiful ring. The belt gets passed around. Use promo code TACOCORP for 10% off <laughs> your entire purchase. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Number one in the market, number one in the industry. Fantasy gear. It's gorgeous. The last the section. Punishments. Yes. I'm the one I'm clapping. I like the lemonade stand. Where's his? The lemonade stand? Yeah, uh, uh, I like the amateur there. bodybuilding show. It was funny as hell. That was funny. Instagram. Our fitness Instagram. Fit, uh, some 30 day day day. Day. something else. A lot of 5K in a suit that is the uh, choosing of the, the... I like that too. It was like a charity. Charity 5K that you I like that. That was pretty good. If you got any good punishment charity suggestions, leave a comment down below. And you, we pick the costume. That's not like profane. This, uh... Well, no, no. It's not profane. Yeah, like a giant dick. Like yeah, you can't, yeah, nothing that would like... You pick the chair. You can't be seen so, to, 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 be, to be fair... Fucking, <laughs> 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 I'd say run around as a tumor. <laughs> Eric, I'm very concerned about some of your spells. Eric, the person running. Is a door with none of the job in amateur. <laughs> Charity. <laughs> Charity. Charity. Just a little concerned. Charity. This is good. Can we put Jehovah's Witness on the list? I forget. The witness? Oh, Jehovah's Witness, yeah. I'm not going to try to spell Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> Do yourself Jehovah's a favor. Charity 5K and that costume. What about the, uh, the. Imagine driving the Iowa City by yourself. Nick. It's like fucking nice. Shit, my ball. Fucking pump. Get rid of that. Ah! So every time that uh, <laughs> is gone, put a joke. Guys, it's bomb threat. We don't have like blow up school. <laughs> Just says bomb now we do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter what you threaten with a bomb. It's not good for me. <laughs> it's not a real bomb though. There's no bomb. It's still, it's so fucking it's terrible. Terrible. You're You're a fucking terrorist. You're making a threat. As long as you incite fear, it's still fucking terrorism. The implications. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's just inciting the fears. Get waterboarded. Yeah, yeah. Water. I'll do that. Put that up there. That's good. Russian proof. Get waterboarded. Right there. Get waterboarded. Get waterboarded. Get waterboarded. Get your waterboarded. It's not torture. You can't. Love you know that. You're not Steam's <laughs> fucking All your friends are there to laugh. <laughs> Yo, wait, hold on. This one dude, every time, I always put it out like every year. I'm like, you guys have any good league punishments? This one guy always goes back. He's like, I'm telling you, just beat the last player <laughs> with belts. <laughs> He's like, championships have gone up 30% since the game was made. It's the same guy he says it every year. Honestly, no, my serious. voting class plays kiss their ass beat by the Competition level's gone up 30% since. We to uh, wrap up this meeting and uh, head out. It's it's all time. Uh, that yeah. night, some kid drunkenly punched his friend, knocked him out on a curb, died, got sued. What? Yeah. When was this? What? When we were there? Who got oh, sued? Yeah, that night. That Who night. Got sued? So like oh, we left around one really? or two, Jeez. and supposedly around oh, three. Oh, no punch me. Like face. you know, like a Leo Josh Hong fight. Like, that's so what, like, dude. I th that's what I thought you were saying. I was like, oh, oh, yeah. Punch someone, punch. Like, someone punched him, and then he cut hit well, in the head, fight. hit his head on the curb, and died. Oh, and they sued this one. Well, it's a big thing. 
That was a fantasy football punishment. Don't get last place in your league. <laughs> All right, so we got our fucking list of last five punishments. Lemonade stand, amateur bodybuilding competition, 30-day Instagram, charity 5K with costume, and waterboarding. Those are the five. <laughs> it's on the top five. Get down there. As soon as you set up, get in there. I do. Very nice. Real dangerous down here, but it's for fights, drugs. Uh, my man. What times I from one o'clock? Yeah, well, on one o'clock, it's only be one Yeah. Water with a little bit of vodka in it, you fucking fuck. That's pretty good. How'd you yeah. know that? Is it really? He says. Yo, I'm sitting in the bathroom. Exactly Can you right. bring me a gin and tonic every 30 minutes? No, no, no. So he said, okay. Let's start giving him weird drinks every 30 minutes. Water. We're going to start off with the water and vodka. <laughs> but we threw a lime in it. Vodka we... and motherfucking water. Well, that's the only make it think it's a gin and tonic. That's why. It's all about perception. <laughs> you know what? There's alcohol in it. Yeah, you better fucking accept it. Enough. Drink it up. Yeah, he actually, way, he's been way. wiping people's what, ass. 40 minutes? 40 minutes? 40 minutes? One dollar. Yeah? One dollar. He's on pace for a dollar twenty-five an hour. Shit. Better than McDonald's workers, bro. <laughs> Season. How are we doing, Joe? Hey, man. All right. Anyone puking? Yeah, actually, we did. We got one puker. I know. I heard about <laughs> it. I, heard it. I, I was wondering if they, if he was still in here. No, dude. The kid looked like he was sweating like he was on something. Dude, you're making some fucking here, money over here. Hey. Somebody gave you 20 What are you talking about? Dude, funny. I'll you I see a five. There's a five there? Yeah, when you buy us drinks later, I like tequila. Shit, I know it's fine. Did someone give you a 20? Would you pocket? You said over 50 you buy drinks. I did, that's correct. I will. Hey, I, will. I swear to God. Spray, spray me down, spray me down. I'm at 32 I lost. I lost. I lost. I we out here zombie. How much money do you think Joe made in tips? He said he made 80 bucks. But then we made him buy drinks. When we got to the bar, Steam's a cop. He's a narc. He's a narc. Revenue is gorgeous. Always diversify the revenue and it's always 